Hi and welcome to another edition of One Side SA, the soccer show that uh, brings you all the news and gives you all the bets you should be taking. Budge and I are back in, and uh, we're going to obviously start off with last one standing and Budge, three left. Yeah, <laughs> three amigos. The three amigos and long ago I said Larry Weinstein, I yeah, thought him and North were big runners, yeah. North is gone. Shame, yeah, Liverpool and uh, Tottenham buried just to let you know, the three that have gone through are Ernie Wallace, Skip as he's called, a great professional footballer we played with, a great man. Uh, Gary Leach, been around the block many years, we all know Gary Leach well, and of course Larry Weinstein from the Racing Association, the racer's owner in Gauteng, a man actively involved in racing and a very good professional footballer in his day. So we've got, we've got three people who know a bit, a bit about yeah. the game. So those guys who came in and hoping to flick it, they're gone. They're gone, yeah. yeah. Sham, I was walked in the office on Monday. It was like a sauna yeah. from being igloo the week before. And I saw Guillaume, he looked like the hunchback. Yeah, he's so gone. I asked him what happened. He said, unpacking the suitcases. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Yeah. He's gone. Shame. Shame. Guillaume no, hung in. But there's uh, every chance uh, people can get on to the next one. No? Yeah. It's the weekend of the 14th. 13th, 14th of October. We start 13th the next to 14th one. of October. The next one starts. Get there. Tell your friends. Get hold of Budgie. Just phone Budgie up. And uh, as you say, we, we, we get those WhatsApps telling us, who's on which team, who's still in. So there's three left. And, and uh, I feel sorry for the guys who went out, and uh, most of them went with Spurs. Yeah. And uh, the guys that went through, went through with uh, Southampton, Southampton, and Man United. But So uh, six out with Spurs, two with Liverpool, two in with Southampton, one in with Man United. Yeah. Now the interesting part, they are the teams that they have utilised, and they can't use them again. Now we've got... Ernie Wallace is extremely confident, and he's gone for Chelsea, who are away to Stoke. Yep, Matt Stoke. Tough That's game. Tough, tough game. Yeah. Tough game. Stoke coming off a loss away at Newcastle. Awesome. Right, that leaves Gary Leach and, uh, of course, Larry Weinstein, the tote favourite. Yeah. Now, the teams available to them if that I see you put down here, top teams. Gary yeah. can use Liverpool, Chelsea, or Everton, who would be your higher rated or the teams. Yeah. Larry's got Chelsea, Spurs and Everton he can yeah, use. Boys are box clever. The box clever. So it's, a, it's an open bet. At this stage, we will keep you posted of who is going to, uh, what teams Gary and Larry are going to take. Gary, Larry and Mo. <laughs> Mo, Mo, Mo <laughs> and Wallace. Skips, yeah. And your skips on uh, Chelsea. So we've got that. Great competition. It looks it's definitely one of these three will be going off to watch a game in the UK. With Budge. Okay, let's get on to uh, the Carabao League Cup. The third round was played, Budge. Uh, Liverpool's woes continue. Yeah, Paul, I watched, I went on to YouTube. There were six minutes of highlights. The first four was Liverpool in the first half. How they never scored, I don't know. Yeah, but, they, they, they got very Made good a mistake, 1 0, and this guy scored a screamer for the second goal. But you can't score, Paul. Everyone blames their back for which everybody knows is dodgy. But you know, I think they've had 80 shots in the last three games. They've only scored three goals. Yeah. So I can't yeah. keep blaming the back for Tottenham got through with a Delhi Alley goal against Barnsley. Yeah. But uh, as I read an article, everybody who comes to play Spurs at home mm. is their one chance of playing at Wembley. It's their yeah. one chance. It's their glory night. Yeah. They know if you park the bus and play, especially the inferior teams, yeah. they defend. It's very hard for Spurs yeah, to break down. So, lot, lot of, there can be a lot of draws there for Spurs because of the venue. So they beat Barnsley 1-0. Then on Wednesday, Everton shook off that defeat to beat yeah. Sunderland. Youngster Calvin Lewis scored a couple. So uh, He looks all right. Nice player. No. Yeah, he looks all right. Arsenal keep winning. They beat the Rovers. 1-0, yeah. Doncaster Rovers, not Melchester. Well, that was uh, Darren Ferguson. Alec Ferguson's well, son was in Darren charge. Fur. Yeah, <laughs> da that's right. Is he still with him, Ferguson? Still with him, yeah. Okay. Uh, Chelsea 5-1 Knott's Forest. Not yeah, for us. Hazard hasn't been, started, yeah. It hasn't been too badly not for us. Yeah, Mark Warburton, good manager. Yeah, 5-1. So they got a goal. West Brom competed home to Man City. Yeah, a guy hit the post an injury time. For West Brom. Brom. Kanu, yeah. yeah. And then Man United, too good for Burton Albion, 4-1. What's interesting is the draws for the next round. How many the good teams have been linked together? Let's run through them. Arsenal at home to Norwich. Chelsea at home to Everton. Good game, Budge. Should be. You know, Everton have got to try and turn yeah. themselves around. Man City will be too strong for Wolves. Yep. Swansea, Man, Man United. United. I think United will beat Swansea. Tottenham, West Ham, tough game. Tough They've been a bit of a side, especially coming to uh, the big stadium. Bournemouth, who are good at home against yeah. Middlesbrough. Yeah, close game. Middlesbrough going, good team in the championship. Bristol City, Crystal Palace. Yeah, Bristol City knocked out Stoke, yeah. Okay, and then Leicester City... 
Leeds United. That's a team I've backed, Leicester, 33-1. to 1. They stuck Liverpool out and a nice draw at home against Leeds. October 24th, 25th. Okay, yeah. we'll get those running there then. Okay, let's go on to English Premiership this weekend. West Ham, they're back at their stadium, eh? Yeah. yeah they, they, they entertain Spurs. Spurs are a bit aside than them, we've watched them. Yeah. But they, they got a result there last year. Yeah. But our way record's flawless, so we've got to hope for the best. Spurs are hot favourites, I see. Yeah. You've got to fancy Spurs. The only thing, when I watched that game last year, they just didn't seem to relish the battle, especially Deli Alley. Yeah, they got a lot day. of panel beaters in that team. Yeah. You know, so right. it won't be easy for Spurs. Lunchtime easy. kickoff. But they, they, I agree with you, lunchtime kickoff, but they, they will be having a go. Yeah. They, they've realised now, if you want to stay in the hunt, you're fifth in the log, you've got to win. Yeah. Burnley, who have been the surprise package. Yeah. Entertain Huddersfield. Yeah, team. I fancy Burnley big time here, Paul. They rested all their players, their main players in midweek in the League Cup. They got knocked out on penalties by Leeds. Huddersfield, on the other hand, got beat by Palace 1 0. They played their best team. Okay. I think Burnley will murder them. Okay. Everton are trying to turn it around against Bournemouth, who got their first win the other day. You know, Everton at home, Paul, you, know, you look at their record. I think it's only Spurs and Chelsea that's beat them in the last 12. Yeah. So, yeah, you've got to expect them. Those gas will be fired up. Yeah, they yeah. got one last night. Bournemouth pour on their travels, Paul. Great yeah. chance for Everton to get the fans back on side. Man City, a decent team at home. Yeah. Crystal Palace. Whoa. Well, they won. They, they beat uh, Huddersfield 1 0 in midweek. Like, they both played their best teams, but you can't see anything but a Man City victory there, even yeah. though Saku will start. Okay. Southampton against Man United. Yeah, I watched the Southampton Palace game last week. I know they won 1 0, but I was just disappointed how they played. Mm. Yeah, this new manager, Pellegrino, he's got them just so negative. Keep the ball, keep the ball. You know, well, Romelu uh, Lukaku has scored more goals this year than Southampton. He scored five, Southampton have only scored four. Their last eight home games, they've only scored in one of them. That's when they beat West Ham. V v Virgil... Uh, and, uh, he'll more than likely start. Yeah, he, he looked a bit rusty. Yeah. He played two games for the under 23. He was yeah. very good the other night. And he's back into the swing. Very good player. Yeah, top player. So he'll t tough it up. It won't be easy for United. It won't be easy for United, you know. Okay, so then we go over a look at uh, Stoke City, Chelsea. 13th Oof. play three. Big game, you know. Big game. Chelsea, a very good side. Yeah, competitive physical team, Chelsea. So they should be able to match Stoke. But, you know, Stoke's two home games. They beat Arsenal and drew with United. You know, yeah, so they'll Chelsea, give them a game. Chelsea won both their away games. Yeah, beat, yeah, Spurs, beat Spurs and Leicester. Leicester yeah, now so. they're coming right. Be a, be a good game. Be a yeah, very good game. Skip the sake. But, um, yeah, everybody's showing chinks in their armors. Yeah. All the sides have got uh, problems, I think. Swansea City coming off a uh, park the bus draw at, at yeah. Wembley against Watford. Yeah, I know Watford got beat 6 0 by, by Man City. City at home, but at least had the confidence to go for it. Most teams park the bus. I think they can get something out of this, Paul. They've played two home games, no, sorry, two away games. They beat Bournemouth. 2-0 and yeah, Southampton. and they beat Southampton 2-0. Good manager, Marco Silvia. Keep them tight and play on the break. Is he Mini Mourinho? Mini Mourinho, yeah. yeah. Leicester City, they, they're not playing too badly, but yeah. they're 15th, eh? Yeah, they've had a, yeah, but they've played all the top teams. They've played uh, United. Look, another one here. Another one here. Well, Liverpool. Liverpool a top team? You would think so. Liverpool are going to beat somebody 4-5. Uh, have a look but... at Liverpool's last four matches. Well, uh, I know. Drew 2 and lost 2. Yep. Yeah, they just can't score goals. You know, I was on the Liverpool Echo last night, and already the fans are jumping up they and down. They repeat themselves, don't they? Yeah. The, the Rafa Echo. Benitez back and all that. Rafa he, back. Uh, they went Rafa back, yeah. He wins three games in a row for Newcastle, and the Scousers won him back. They'll come right, Liverpool. They've got yeah. too much quality. Nothing wrong with Not their too. boss. They're very good going forward, too. Yeah. Just tighten up the back. Everyone's telling them. People, but, people going past in aeroplanes are saying, yeah. tighten the defence. 80 shots in the last three games, and yeah. only scored three goals. Yeah, sometimes it's woodwork keepers, yeah. whatever you... Brighton, who managed to get a smile on their face, they can give Newcastle a game. They will. I like Newcastle here, Paul. I think 18 to 10 is a good bet. They both got promoted last season, and uh, Newcastle won both games. You know, what's the Newcastle Stoke game? Yeah, it was. I, liked, uh, I like what I saw from Newcastle. You know, mm. When you saw the highlights, it looked like Stoke were in the game. I thought but, off their uh, first game, they were going to get relegated. Yeah, Spurs so could have put six past them. Yeah. They, were, they were muck. Yeah, I think but Rafa can get another result, yeah. Brighton, you know, uh, uh, they, they played, they beat West Brom 2-1. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, they lost to Man City 2-0. Not yeah. the worst form, Brighton. No, at home, they've yeah. got to have a go. This is a game. Yeah. They've got to get a result at home, because I doubt they'll get much away from home. Arsenal, yeah. who are 12th. Yeah. It's hard to believe, eh? <laughs> Play West Brom with a tenth. Yeah. Now Arsenal, uh, uh, the last nine uh, league matches, one eight drawn one. Yeah, they drew with Man City. You've got to fancy Arsenal. Got to fancy I, I was Arsenal. impressed with them against Chelsea. With that, yeah. Ozil they had a lot of fight in them. 
That's right, they did. They you did. know, and they were a little bit unlucky. They could have got you know, victory there. If he plays that way, for me, he's got to start Oslin Sanchez on the bench. Where, where's Brom? Got a woeful away record. No, one, one of 11. Yeah. That's not good enough. Not good They've enough. They've lost yeah. six away. So that's it. Got to be okay. Arsenal. Yeah. Got to be Arsenal. Now let's go to PSL. Let's hotten up. Getting very interesting <laughs> because you're giving me the league log, which yeah. makes it easier for those out there. But let's look at Tuesday's results first. Now this league, up there, like our good mate Gavin Hunt, just yeah. talk about him for a moment, can't come right. Eight games this year. Hasn't won one. I know they got through in the MTN quarterfinal, but that was on penalties. And I watched a bit of it last night. They're the league night. champions. The league champions. Well, the way they're they, going. They're doing a Leicester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're doing a Leicester. Okay. Let's look at the games. Pirates are doing better. They beat yeah. Cape Town 31 Was it a true reflection? Yeah. Pirates were the better team. But they? They, they, Cape Town City had a perfectly goal disallowed by the linesman. You know, okay. Benny was very quiet after the game. I could see he wanted to say something, but he obviously couldn't. But uh, a little bit unlucky, Cape Town City. Polokwane got beat at home no, to Free State Stars. Just can't pick. They beat Sundowns away, and they, they've done their last three games. They've got beat Polokwane. Super Sport United, Chipper yeah. United. Well, they play in Zambia, the second leg of the Confederations Cup. So okay. they rested a few players, but a bad result. One, one. They should have beat Chipper. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Platinum Stars lost to Golden Arrows at home. Yeah, they scored late on Golden Arrows. Going well at top of the league, Clint's amazing, team. Amazing, yeah. amazing. I'm a Zulu 3 Bid vis vis. Have they got that the wrong way around? No, it's the right way around. I couldn't believe it myself, but uh, they got a two penalty. Good goals. Oh, no, they got a penalty. Yeah. Amazulu, yeah, three 0 Bloom Celtic, Baraka Calcium. They came with a win away no, from home. Yeah, going well, Baraka. Since Melsburg United, Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, they were unlucky. I watched that game, Paul. They got they're, beat they're, two 0 They're fair side. Nice team. He's done a good job, Fadlu Davids. Jeez, yeah. they were unlucky. Did they play a bit? Eh? Jeez, they really outplayed Chiefs. But you know, the goalkeeper Cooney's playing great. And uh, the Paez. Maybe, maybe Liverpool should sign him. Jeez. They need to keep it quickly. So Chiefs, Chiefs are doing better. Yeah, now, here, and Pirates. Yeah, you've got, you got the top eight and the bottom two. This yeah. is very interesting. For those of you who don't know what's going on in the PSL, it's a very good league. And Golden Arrows. And that's uh, Clint Larson. That's Clint Larson. Yeah, yeah from uh, Mr. Price. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> going 11 great. points, five yeah. games, yeah. plus six. I like that, Budge. Baraka Calcium 2, yeah. who would have thought this? Well, you know, they've got a few players. They won the relegation playoff uh, last season, so they've kept them in, signed a few players, going well. Unbeaten. Going well. Eh? Orlando Pirates, 11 points. Yeah, they, these are all played five so far. Yeah. Kaiser Chief, 8 points. Marisburg United, doing well, 8 points. Then Supersport United, yeah. 4 games, 7. So they could go yeah. to 10. Amazulu, 5, 7. That's yeah. not bad. Uh, 7 points, all from their home games. Home yeah. form will keep them in the league. Sundowns, they've only played three. That's well, what annoys the, me about this league. Well, they're in the Cap Champions League. I know that, but so there's such an imbalance. Yeah. Six points. They're getting two a game. Yeah. So they'd have to... And then the bottom two. Bidfest, Vitz, two Can points in five. Uh, hard to believe. Well, can't keep conceding goals, Paul. Yeah, we'd have to have a word with Gav. I'll see him up in uh, Joburg. I'll have a chat to them. And Platinum Stars, yeah. one point. Your man, Roger Dessau. When did he take over? He's, uh, I think it's his third game now. Oh, he's not doing too well. I uh, can't score. Can't score. Okay, here are the fixtures this week. This will see where we're going, Budge. Cape Town City, uh, they're good at home. Yep, you know, you Pollock have them. Pollock, they met in the MTNA quarterfinal in Cape Town and Cape Town City. It was a close game. Cape Town City won 1 0. You'd expect them to rebound, Paul. Yeah. You know, Baraka, AX. AX can't win a game away from home. They've only won one of the last 11 away games. Gee, You've got poor. to think uh, Baraka have got to get another result. Gee, another result put them in a comfortable position. Jeez, big game for Gavin, but they've got a good record against Bidvestvitz. They've won the last six meetings, the last four at home they've won. Bidvestvitz and Pirates. Bid, yeah, so, so, but uh, Pirates are a lot better defensively than they were. Who's got the Pirates now? Who's it's a coach? guy, Militin Seredovic. He's oh, a Scottish a foreign guy. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Bidvestvitz, can you believe 15 to double? Yeah. Taker. Yeah. Uh, last you know, Chiefs, this season. Drew three Golden Arrows. Five. Love to know the last time Golden Arrows were above Chiefs in the league, but uh, Chiefs have had their number in the last few years. They've won six, drawn three of the last nine. I was impressed with what I saw. Haven't lost away from Haven't Golden Arrows. Yep. Haven't lost away Going from well, Clint. So they stayed over. I spoke to the centre half. What about um, Heba Usutu? Heba going league. well. This is another great chance. You're platinum in bottom of the league if they get three points here. Cool. Yeah, it'd be a great result for and them. Then, and uh, Chipper, Chipper Blum. Blumfontein. Well, the guy, the new coach has taken over at, at Chipper. Tibaho Malloy was assistant to Eric Tinkler and Chipper Roger Desai. Malloy sounds like Gary Malloy's cousin. <laughs> and uh, they've drawn their first two games under him, both away. So a good chance to get a home victory. But Blum Celtic don't lose many games. So a draw is obviously a player. But yeah, Chipper at player. home, PE, 
Dangerous team. Okay, Buzz, let's see if we can make a couple of pounds. We've given you the betting odds. We can let you know now that we'll try and get some money because a lot of us aren't flying to the UK with last one standing. <laughs> hope for those hope for that. <laughs> right, Buzz, let's look at the first one, yep. the uh, soccer six. Yeah, I've gone uh, win and draw most, and the draw is obviously a big player in our games. I've gone Baraka win and draw against Ajax. You know, purely because Ajax didn't have a midweek game, so a little bit more time to prepare. I've got Norwich City win and draw against Bristol City. While Bristol City are above them in the league, Norwich at home, good team, good record at home. I've gone Bidvestwitz win and draw against Pirates. Surely Gavin can't get another smack. <laughs> yeah. I've gone Liverpool win and draw at Leicester. They've lost their last three games at Leicester, but, you know, somebody has got to crack sooner or later. I think Amazulu win and draw at Platinum Stars, and I've banked Chiefs to beat uh, Golden Arrows. So the Chiefs, too. Okay, and the other one? Yeah, this is the English one. You haven't spent much. I fancy Burnley to beat Huddersfield. Likewise, Everton to beat Bournemouth. Man City looks certainties against Palace. I've thrown the draw in Southampton, Man, Man United. It won't be an easy game. Likewise, Stoke against Chelsea. And I've gone the field, Swansea, Watford. Yeah, that's 72 rand. Game. Yeah, that, that, that certainly is. Okay, let's look at the 10. The soccer 10. Uh, I've banked Burnley to beat Huddersfield. I've banked Everton to beat Bournemouth. I've gone win and draw Leeds, your top of the league against Ipswich It's quite Town. tight up there. Yeah, it's tight. Three teams joint top, and my boys pressed in fourth. Man City banker to beat Crystal Palace. I've gone the field with Norwich City against Bristol City. I've gone Chelsea win and draw at Stoke. I've gone the field with Sunderland, Cardiff City. Field with Swansea, Watford. I've gone win and draw Fulham against Middlesbrough. Uh, Stevie V's Fulham. Stevie yeah, and I've yeah, banked yeah. at Aston Villa. Hard to beat at home. But they are struggling. Game. But at home, different team. Well, uh, I'll tell you what, Bruce's yeah. job must be under pressure. Yeah, they, they, they're it. struggling. Yeah, much. struggling. It's well, if he doesn't get a result here. Yeah, well, this, the pressure's you know, coming. They're not far off. There's but, our uh, let's go travel advert for yep. our last one standing. Okay, let's go on to it's soccer, soccer 13. Your usual five bankers and eight winning draws. I've gone Liverpool winning draw at Leicester. I've banked Burnley, Everton and Man City. I've gone Man United winning draw at Southampton. Likewise, Chelsea at Stoke. And I prefer Watford of the two teams at Swansea City. Second page, I've got Derby to beat a Harry Redknapp, Liss, Birmingham City. Yeah, who got the job? Uh, Lee Carsley's on standby. Midfield yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, he's on standby. He was at the club, so he's taken over. Oh, Derby. Yeah. No, going all right. All right. Just going Gary right, yeah. Rudd. Can you believe it? The guy from Birmingham. Yeah. He got fired when they were seventh. Zola came in and Harry came in. So uh, it serves Jeez, right. of Birmingham doesn't take any yeah. uh, bad results well. Yep. <laughs> you know, I've gone Fulham win and draw against Middlesbrough. Likewise, Leeds win and draw against Ipswich. Norwich win and draw against Bristol. I've banked my boys at home, Preston. They're doing well, eh? Now we fourth. Who's the boss there? It's a guy, uh, Alex Neal. He got fired from, from Norwich. They were all crying about how organised. But yeah, we signed a lot of young Irishmen, Paul. The boys are playing well. What's wrong with the young Irishmen? And I've gone uh, Cardiff City to beat Preston's old manager, Simon Grayson. He's Sunderland. They haven't won a game at home. They've only won one all year. So uh, Sunderland are really struggling. He's under severe Some pressure. Some of those teams are really struggling. Right. The best well, part of the show five. for me, yeah. Budgie's bets. Well, now. I've gone, uh, obviously, I couldn't put Man City in a few of the odds on shots. So I've gone Burnley to beat Huddersfield. Burnley to beat, okay. I, th I like Newcastle to beat uh, Brighton. And yeah. I've gone win and draw Watford at Swansea. Those are, those are good odds. Yeah, eight and a half to one. We took 1,700 to two. Now, the next one could be a bit of a troublesome one. Really? I've gone, Explain this I've to gone Preston to beat Millwall and Derby to beat Birmingham City. But there has to be over two and a half goal, total goals in the game. So two, one, three, two, three, nil, Anything whatever. Anything above two. Yeah, so... You know, okay, now that makes that. sense. 1,500 to 200. Okay, yeah, over two and a half goals. Yeah, think, Please well, tell me you haven't got Crystal Palace. No. Well, they, 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 they were three to ten, I think it was, uh, but that game. Have they gone five games with one goal or five no. games with no goal? No three? goals. No goal. That's shocking, eh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> give me your two and a half goals. Well, I've goals. gone uh, Leicester, Liverpool. I like it. Everton, Bournemouth. Yeah, apparently, it was the last four times they've played 19 goals. Oh, that's so good. So it should be Bolton, Brentford, relegation to Salah. They've both got to go for it. And Norwich, Bristol City. 1,600 to 200, 8 to 1 the odds. Okay, both yeah. teams have scored. Yeah, I think Leicester, Liverpool, I know I've put uh, you know, all my eggs in that basket, but there has to be goals in that yeah. game. Stoke, Chelsea, you know, Stoke always score at home, and I fancy Chelsea. Aston Villa, Notts Forest, and uh, she the Sheffield Derby, that's on Sunday, Sheffield Wednesday, Sheffield United, 9.5 to 1. We took okay. 1,900 to 2. Good, the Spanish omelette? The Spanish omelette, yeah. 
Barcelona and Real Madrid, they have to win and there has to be at the Real least. Madrid lost I watched yesterday. it, I couldn't believe it. My boy is real Batiste. Ba Kike, Bale seemed to do well. Did you see his flick? Yeah, he saw his flick. He yeah. was unlucky. Now, they should have won, but you, know, you don't score and they all went bombing forward, got caught in the break. But they'll rebound here. They're away at, they're away at Alaves who are struggling. Barcelona, Barcelona playing fine. great. Going great. Messi's playing unbelievably well. Uh, they're, okay. at, they're at uh, Girona. And both, teams both teams to score. score. Espanyol, Dibotivo and Arbor Salta Vigo. 12.5 to 1, okay. 2,500 to 200. Collins King, 6, the six or next. Or next. <laughs> yeah, we've got uh, Burnley to beat Huddersfield, Preston to beat Millwall, Barca to beat Girona, Real Madrid to beat Alaves, we've got Juventus to beat Torino in the Turin Derby, and we've got Mets and France to beat Troyes. Worked out just under 20 to 1. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, those are our bets for this weekend. Where does it all start? The early game Spurs, West Ham? Yep. Uh, there's a Friday night game in the PSL with Cape Town City, but lunchtime for the Premiership. Lunchtime for the Premiership. West Ham, and then, Okay, that is, that is uh, very good news. And obviously the good news is that we did say at the outset of the Premier League that it wouldn't go seven uh, weeks and we'd have a winner in the last one standing. We've had five weeks, oh. there's three left and... Uh, uh, Gary, Larry and Mo yeah. <laughs> and Skip. <laughs> Gary, Gary, Larry and Skip. Yeah. All the best. We know one of you has picked Chelsea and you're hoping for the best. Don't forget, 13th and 14th of October. Let your friends know. Get involved. Get hold of Budgie. And uh, it, it, he runs everything through the WhatsApp so we know what's going on. And uh, stay on side. <laughs>